Childhood for me was very, very hard. You know, I got bullied in school. Just wanted to hide away to myself. I think with the autism, the gym saved my life. Everything's quiet. Like I'm floating in my own head. It will just be tunnel vision. I literally just tear the bar apart until I'm either dead or I get told to stop. Autism through the educational system was very bad for me. I wasn't really open about it until midway through high school. The teachers didn't understand it. A lot of people don't understand it. When Tom went to get diagnosed, he wouldn't act up. And it was almost like these, these people, you know, doubted mum and doubted what she was saying. So mum actually had to video record Tom um, and show it to them. Does it show you the state of the world that these people wouldn't believe a mother telling them what their son was being? The thing that stuck to me was one of my PE teachers said to me that you're never going to be something in your life. And uh, obviously when an autistic kid hears that, it's one of the most like downing things you can either hear. You know, I kind of wanted to go home and just, you know, put a rope around my neck and kill myself. To have your, like, teacher you thought supported you to say that was one of the most kind of yeah, things that even to this day I can still remember it all. Luke was the one that got me into the gym and again I hated every minute of that. The people around it, the mirrors, like people are staring at you, you know you think they're talking to you behind your back. Like physically, Tom's a specimen, you know, it's like you, you see him enter the room, he's six foot eight, 190 kilos, whatever it is. You're like in awe sometimes when you see him. But then when you see his head, that's when you realise how fragile Tom was back then. Luke introduced me to Amy, a clinical psychologist. She works with people with autism and really helped me go into places that I'd never been able to go before. I believed I already won World's Strongest Man before I even stepped on the stage. Through like the first five, six years, I was really just physically strong, mentally it was weak, and then went good, and then went to like a champion within a year and a half of just having someone talk to me on a screen. The legacy I want to leave behind is, you know, just something that autistic kids and stuff can come and like, you know, like Tom Stone was autism, he's won World Strongest Man two or three times. Let's do it, you know? My proudest moment is, you know, seeing that autistic kid come to the gym, lift weights and then adapt to it and start progressing really fast and uh, be their own wee superhero, you know? For me, autism's a superpower. When mum was on her last few weeks with us, she kind of asked me, you know, to look after Tom and just watch over him and, and that's what I felt I had to do. And I feel a little bit more released of that now that Tom's one world's strongest man. You know, I think that was the almost end goal for that promise, you know, I've made sure Tom's okay now and, and uh, yeah, going forward, Tom's the best in the world at something and cut ten years ago that would never have been a, a, a thing in our heads that that could have been possible. <laughs>